there is overwhelming evidence, there is irrefutable evidence that cannabis is safe and effective. Cannabis is the gateway to getting out of opioid abuse. This is not my opinion, this is evidence that cannabis is a effective and safe substitute for pain relieving drugs like prescription opioid analgesics. My name is Dr. Aidy Poe. I am a neuroscientist who has studied the interaction between cannabis and opioids for the last 13 years or so. The most exciting and promising value in medicinal cannabis is the sheer volume of people's lives who will be improved. So we're not just talking about people who will stay alive because they didn't overdose on opioids. We're also talking about all those people who are suffering and there is no alternative and no other drugs have worked. It is so hard to have to tell a family member, hey, your child died or your, your family member died from opioids, and then go to the next patient complaining of pain and prescribe them the same thing that just killed this other person. I might as well be like, here's a needle, Here's a syringe. You might as well just start heroin because this is where it's gonna end up. I've been an ER physician for six years and I've been involved with medical marijuana for greater than a year. I've seen people die from heroin. I've seen kids die from taking opioids. I've seen people die from benzo overdose. I have not, till this day, seen somebody die from marijuana. I'm Mark Wallace. I'm. Uh an anesthesiologist, boarded in anesthesiology and pain medicine. I'm chair of the Division of Pain Medicine here at UC San Diego. A lot of the heroin users got their start with prescription opioids. That led the CDC to start taking a look at this, the Center for Disease Control, and saying, we have a problem. In 2016, the Centers for Disease Control came out with a set of guidelines in order to curb this crisis. One of those was that we need to switch to non-opioid drugs for most cases of chronic pain. The National Academies looked at more than 10,000 studies in humans only published since 1999, and they definitively concluded that not specific cannabinoids, not isolated cannabinoids, Cannabis is indeed safe and effective for the treatment of chronic pain. So the CDC was asking for non-opioid alternatives, and the National Academies has given us an answer, and that's cannabis.